and ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel this is your boy fly island guy today we are back in uh valle de la pasqua in venezuela now we're going to be doing a quick trip over to bonaire now if you don't know about bonaire uh bonaire is part of the abc islands abc being aruba uh bonaire and curacao um, part of the Netherlands Antilles, Netherlands Antilles in the Caribbean, uh, Dutch speaking part of, uh, the Caribbean. So I think I've been here before once, uh, previously in the sim. So let's revisit it today. Maybe something has changed since we last been there. I don't know, but, uh, this is going to be a quick flight, uh, about 51 minutes. Oh, quick compared to when I'm in the CRJ or whatever. I mean, CJ4. Um, but yeah, it's going to be 51 minutes. Uh, we're going to be cruising at 10,000 feet. And that's because we're going to be carrying some passengers as well as cargo. So uh, we're not going to be going too, too high. And also the Umbrella 110 is an unpressurized aircraft. So can't fly too high without oxygen and uh so we're just gonna keep it at 10,000 feet and uh stay there simbri for some reason keeps giving us these like super high cruising altitudes don't know why um i think it's giving me what probably like 36,000 feet or something the last time i i well when i tried to create a flight plan so not sure what's going on there, so just gotta, I just gotta basically put in something reasonable, and we'll use that for the trip. Weather-wise, uh, everything's looking pretty good. Um, not much going on here in Venezuela. Uh, all of that is pretty calm, and then heading up into Curacao and Bonaire and Aruba clear skies over there as well so not expecting anything crazy should be a pretty smooth flight overall uh, i'll probably get a little bit of chop over the mountains um as we're heading out into the caribbean sea but uh that should be about it all right so we've already set our altimeter we're gonna get our fuel pumps on also get the old beacons on as well and da, 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 da. almost always forget this hydraulic switch we can get that guy on too go ahead and arm the emergency lights and that's about it Go ahead and get the doors closed. Boom, boom. Let's go outside real quick. Let's see them close up. All right, doors are closed and locked. We'll remove the wheel chocks. Do the ignition for the right engine and start. Now we're in my rumble pack again today, and whew, it's rumbling like crazy. It's a good massage for the back, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, start up the left engine.
right, so left engine is started up and ready to go. Alrighty, uh, any last things? We'll go ahead. Oops. Go ahead and get the props and gone for now. Um, maybe a little early for that, but uh, should be all good. Generators on for the left and right engines. Ignition start and come off. We'll get inertial separators on in preparation for takeoff as well. Switch over to battery. Probably should have done that before starting the engines, but uh, that should be fine. Passenger heat and static pitot heat can stay off. We got really hot temperatures out here. It's probably about mid 20s, so no real reason to turn that on. Uh, lights can all stay off. These are fine. All right, we're good to go. So we're going to be departing runway 10 today here in Venezuela. Sorry, runway 8. My apologies. And runway 8. That means we're going to be turning right because we're going to have to head that way to get to the end of the runway. Got our GTN set in the meantime. On air started tracking automatically. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Alright, I forgot to start the tracking for on air. I thought it did that already. Flaps are set for takeoff as well. Man, this rubble pack is going crazy right now. Might have to turn it down, <laughs> especially for takeoff. Zero eight controls are free and clear. Fuel condition levers and propeller RPM is full forward. Get our strobe on. 
and landing lights on. I'm not sure separator is already on, which is good as well. Um, let's set 10,000 feet. about 700 feet per minute we could adjust as we go along and I think that is it folks flaps already set as well uh, let's switch on fuel cross cross feed yep all the feathers on you're good to go Try and rotate around 80, 85 knots. Just coming up about now. Rotates. Airborne time log. You're up. down slightly Get a little more air speed let me go ahead get the autopilot on and we can hit now mode as well Climb out, clouds looking awesome as well. Let's see the transition altitude. I actually don't know what it is here, it doesn't say for uh, the airport we just took off from, so that's all good. We'll just switch over to, oh, I'm sure it's not um, 18,000 feet, like, uh, like in the States. So what we'll do is when we hit uh, 10,000, we'll go ahead and switch, switch our transition altitude. Sorry, we'll switch to uh, standard. That's what I meant to say. Right, I'm just going to wait till we get up a little bit higher above the clouds and then uh, we'll switch to we'll switch our natural separators off auto feather can come off and prop sync can come on Nice 
beautiful steady climb out today can't be mad at that so it looks like the aerosoft twin otter is going to probably be coming out soon so that possibly means that uh, I may be replacing the or well, this aircraft with the twin otter don't know um, I have to find out the specs of the twin otter don't really want to go from one or faster turboprop to a slower one I've been flying around slow turbo props for a while now, so um, I have to double check the performance for the Twin Auto, but I really want to, I do want to fly that, I'll get it and fly it when it comes out. Um, I love the Aerosoft CRJ, so I um, do definitely want to try out the Twin Auto as well. So, in regards to Bonaire, I have been to Bonaire once before, a long time ago. I remember um, flying to Caruso on ALM, which is an airline that does not exist anymore. Um, they flew the DC-9 there. ALM used to have a fleet of DC-9s. Um, so we ended up stopping there I was pretty young at the time but the only thing I remember is that uh, it had a super long runway very very long runway so let's check it in Navigraph to see if my memory as a child <laughs> still right uh, so So we're going to be landing on runway 10. And, oh, that's the wrong. Let's go this one, I believe. Yep. Yep, so it's a single 10,000 foot, 10,000 foot long runway. And I remember when we landed, we, we must have been landed on runway 10 because we landed, we had to turn around and taxi all the way back down and to come back to the terminal. So we'll probably be doing something similar today, it seems. But I'm just glad to be away from the mainland for a bit and getting back to island flying. So I can tell you right now, uh, the plan is, and I mentioned this before, we're not really going to have the range on this aircraft. Well, I mean, I'm sure we could if we wanted to fly kind of all the way back across this way. But um, I'm going to use this opportunity because Central America is, well, not really North America <laughs> and it's not really South America. I know that sounds like like duh but um, I've already done a North American tour I'm about to do a Canada tour and I haven't done a South America tour so may use this time just to uh, fly west just make our way west uh, probably come around through Panama Costa Rica Nicaragua all these countries here if we can depends on what jobs we're getting from one here and then go kind of head probably back this way towards uh, towards Cuba going left will have us kind of heading through Mexico and kind of back to the states which you don't really want to do so I think I'm just going to stick to stick to going this way probably head to Cuba maybe Miami back to Bahamas or somewhere in the Bahamas um we could start the loop again <laughs> but 
we'll see what happens. Hopefully by then the uh, Twin Otter is out, so we could hop in a Twin Otter and do some of those flights. But uh, let's see how that goes. All right, here we are up and through the clouds. Um, inertial separators, I'm going to turn that off. And we are pretty much going to sit back and enjoy the rest of the flight, folks. Um, let's see how far we are along. Yeah. So we've got a bit of a ways to go still, but uh, when we come back, uh, we'll be starting our descent into Bernier. And uh, let's have some fun with the landing, all right? It's your boy Flyland Guy. I'll be back. And welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, we have started our descent into Bernier. Uh, just checking the meter really quick, uh, just to see what we're dealing with. Of course, as I mentioned before, uh, we are pretty much dealing with great weather overall. Um, currently, it's MVFR conditions over there. Winds out of 10014 knots, uh, varying from 070 to 150, so they're shifting around a little bit. Visibility is uh, 10 kilometers or more, scattered clouds 2400 feet, broken at 2700 feet, and the temperature is a balmy 30 degrees C. Let's move up to the flight deck. That is not the flight deck. <laughs> We're starting our descent, just heading into the clouds now. Going to get the inertial separators on. Let's take a quick look at our approach for today uh, at Flamingo International in Veneer. Going to be doing the RMP runway 10 approach. Currently, we're heading towards Davil now, descending to 3,000 feet, and we're just going to be making that right turn, coming out to 2,000, and heading straight in for a landing. So, nothing too complicated about this approach. Um, we're not going to be doing this this uh, this turn here. We're just going to be coming straight in. I guess the turns more so if you're coming from this way. I actually have no idea. This is Bernier off to our right. And everything is looking good. It's been a pretty smooth flight. We had to uh, increase our altitude to 12,000 though. Um, just because we were heading over some mountains and I was a little iffy on <laughs> whether we'd actually get over the top of them. So just went up to 12,000 for a little bit just to be on the safe side. My apologies if you hear any weird noises. Uh, we've had a ton of snow uh, in the past day or so. So just doing some shoveling outside. Preparation for landing. Um, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get our auto feather on. Props can come off. Thought we get a lot of turbulence, but we didn't really get any turbulence. Um, we were coming over the clouds. In, uh, in Caracas so overall it's been a really really smooth flight so I'm happy about that all 
Alright, so we've hit uh, 3,000 feet. Kind of just in time for Davil. And we'll stay here for another about 10 nautical miles before we start our right turn at Imama. So this is Davil. If you look at uh, Navigraph, just coming over that waypoint now. I've really been hoping that we get kind of more of a flurry of uh, free rear scenery airports in the Caribbean. But uh, things seem to be slimming down a little bit, to be honest. Um, not too sure why, but definitely want to see more, more scenery in, uh, or more freeware scenery, even payware scenery in general getting put out for the Caribbean. Lots of cool airports out there. So, oh no. Just pulled the fire test by mistake. Not bad. Actually, this is the actual. the actual fire level. I don't know. Oof, don't want to touch that. Alright, so in preparation for descent and final approach, uh, I'm going to dial in 2,000 feet. Gonna get ready to arm the vertical speed. All right, we're gonna go to the local altimeter setting as well, which is three zero zero three. It's pretty crazy though, thirty degrees C in. December or well, January. We really need to fly down there. See what's going on. Alright, so you should be starting our turn any second now. Descending to 2,000. It's going to be uh, the Maiva waypoint. And that's where we should be capturing the, the glide path. So. to arm approach mode so we still can't quite see the runway yet it's a little uh, blocked out by this cloud I'm gonna slid on the aircraft and start getting our flaps out
pretty good. Just capture the glide path. Don't know if you guys saw that dip. The clouds seem really low. Really, really low. I'm gonna go gear down as well. And the flaps could come fully down. now can officially see the runway as well so I'm gonna take that risk and let's turn off our autopilot your adapter will come off as well on the pappies right now so I'm just gonna arrest the descent rate a little bit till we start seeing white there you go, or one white I don't know if you can see it right there Wing zero, nine zero and 15 knots. thank you very much Too white. The city is starting to populate off to the right. Sorry, to the left. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bonier. Well, Bonier, that's probably a better way to pronounce it. Separators will come off. Landing lights will come off as well. I guess technically they should stay on till we come off the runway, but uh, it's all good.
real chalk sign. Beacons off. Seatbelt signs. And all that good stuff. There's no smoking signs come up as well. Engine off time log. Flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Alright folks. And that is it. I don't have my lights on. Oh nope. <laughs> Taxi lights on as usual. I just want to say I don't have my lights on for a change. Alright folks. Hope you enjoyed that nice uh, approach into Bonaire. Uh, we are going to continue the Caribbean adventures. On this case, kind of moving around Central America and uh, eventually back into the Caribbean. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to share these videos if you see fit. And uh, I'll be back soon. Videos come out every few days. Um, and uh, as I said, make sure you comment and stuff. I like to like to see what you guys have to say. All right, this is your boy Flyland Guy. I'll catch you on the next one. As usual, stay safe and most of all, stay fly. I'm out. Peace.